Welcome to Bunny Love TV. 50 Cent slams Oprah for only going after black men accused of sexual assault. Let's get into this, guys, and let's see how 50 Cent feels about the matter. 50 Cent accuses Oprah of only calling out sexual predators who are black. Russell Simmons took to IG to respond to news that Oprah is producing a documentary on sexual assault allegations against him. In the post, Simmons denies the allegation against him and calls it troubling that Oprah chose me to single out. Dearest Oprah, you have been a shining light to my family and my community, contributing so much to my life that I couldn't list a fraction of it in this blog. I have given you the gift of meditation and the groundbreaking book, The Power of Now. We bonded to say the least, Simmons started. This is why it's so troubling that you chose me to single out in your recent documentary. I have already admitted to being a playboy, more appropriately titled today Womanizer, sleeping with and putting myself in more compromising situations than almost any man I know. But on the flip side of things, 50 Cent may have reignited his beef with Oprah. On Thursday night, Fifth took to Instagram to call out the media mogul over her upcoming Me Too documentary that focuses on Drew Dixon. One of the women who has accused Russell Simmons of sexual misconduct. The film directed by Kirby Dick and Amy Ziering is described as a profound examination of race, gender, class, and intersectionality and the toll assaults take on their victim and society at large. Oprah is listed as one of the documentary's producers. 50 Cent accused Oprah of only targeting alleged sexual predators who are black while remaining silent on high-profile predators who are white. The rapper actor also referenced Oprah's controversial interview with Michael Jackson's accusers, Wade Robson and James Safechuck. The sit-down was broadcast following the premiere of HBO's Leaving Neverland which explored the long-standing molestation accusations against Jackson. I don't understand why Oprah is going after black men. No Harvey Weinstein, no Jeffrey Epstein, just Michael Jackson and Russell Simmons, 50 wrote on Instagram. He then turned his direction to Gail King, Oprah's close friend who conducted a televised interview with R. Kelly amid renewed outrage over his alleged sexual abuse. This shit is sad. Gail hit R. Kelly with the death blow documentary. Every time I hear Michael Jackson, I don't know whether to dance or think about the little boy's butts, he wrote. Oh my God. This is, wow. These documentaries are publicly convicting their targets. It makes them guilty till proven innocent. Now I will have to agree with that right there. Those documentaries kind of program people's minds before the person has even had an opportunity to go through the court system before, you know, substantial evidence has even been presented to even see if there's even any evidence on that person for that person to even be guilty. I mean, we already kind of condemn them on our own by watching these programs. And that's just what they are. Programs to get you to think how they want you to. Okay, so right here is a post that 50 Cent put up, and obviously you can tell what he's trying to say. Um, all of the black people, which there's only two on this meme, R. Kelly and Bill Cosby are jailed for their crimes, but the rest of these people here, they get to walk. Harvey Weinstein, uh, Jeffrey Epstein, um, uh, Trump, but obviously he's not going to be able to walk because he's good at manipulating folk and getting over with stuff and he's the president. I was told that I should know these things about Trump and his um, accusations against him, but I really don't give a shit. If you don't care about someone, you're not going to pay attention to what goes on in their life. <laughs> How do you not know about Trump and his sex crimes? Because I don't like Trump. I'm not a Trump supporter. And I don't pay any attention to him unless it is something really, truly, absolutely necessary. Yep, I just said it. I'm not a Trump supporter and I really don't care what goes on with his ass. So I, I wouldn't know. Moving on. The G-Unit boss and Oprah have had a rocky history. In 2012, the two sat down to squash a years-long beef, which apparently started after Oprah criticized the lyrics in rap music. 
50's messages were shared just one day after Weinstein reached a $25 million tentative deal to settle a sexual misconduct case. The disgraced movie producer, who has denied all allegations against him, is still facing life in prison for sex crime charges in Manhattan. All right, you guys. All right. So uh, let me just say this. Let me start by saying that um, there are a lot of people that feel the same way that 50 Cent does. There's a whole lot of blacks that cannot stand Oprah Winfrey because they say that she is not pro-black and she's all about whites. Like she's literally turned and, and switched up on her own people. Um, I can kind of see why people would feel that way and would think that to a degree, I like Oprah. How could you not learn from somebody as successful as she is? However, at the same time, when people talk a lot about Oprah Winfrey and why they don't like her, if it's not because she's not for the blacks, they also talk about her money. Well, Oprah Winfrey has um, explained that in um, an interview that she did with Larry King a few years back. She says she's not about color or or uh, ethnicity. She's more about the individual person. She's about that person's characteristics for them, not just you know, all race or ethnicity as a whole. So that's her explanation for that. That could very well be true. However, a lot of people do feel the same way that 50 Cent does. Me personally, um, I'm kind of on the fence. I can see where she's coming from and I can understand her defense that she's all about getting to know an individual person opposed to just going, you know, just all about the whole ethnicity. But a lot of black folks feel she's turned her back on the blacks, um, especially when it comes to her money. They don't understand why she would build a school for uh, girls over in South Africa instead of spending her money in the United States and helping people out in the hood. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe the masses has a point. However, that's her money. If she wants to take all of her money, every dime that she has, throw it in the middle of the street and squat down over it and take a shit, that's exactly what she has every single solitary fucking right to do because it's hers. People are complaining about other people's money and that's something I never could understand. And the whole complaint with that is why hasn't she spent her money on the blacks? Um, well, the ones in the United States opposed to the ones over in South Africa, maybe because it's her money and she can do whatever she wants to do with it. Why is she just taking up for, uh, white, uh, people that are accused of sexual abuse and not the blacks? Who knows? That is her own. She's got her own personal reasons for that. Um, we, we may never know. We may never know, but, um, I, I, I don't know. It, it does look a little strange. Um, she does give, um, seems like she gives Harvey Weinstein a pass. It, it does seem that way. Um, but I can definitely see where 50 cent is coming from, but at the end of the day, what can we do about it? We can't do anything about it. People have the right to support whoever they want to. It may seem, um, you know, morally wrong, but Hey, it, it is what it is. People have the freedom to do what the fuck they want, even though we don't agree with it. I do see where 50 is coming from though. 50 cent does have a point. I can see where his frustrations at. It's like, damn, stop targeting the, uh, the blacks and, 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 you know, support us opposed to always supporting the whites that are accused of the same thing. So I, I totally get it. Hey, you guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think, um, about this situation. Do you think that Oprah Winfrey is just, um, you know, for white people that are accused of sexual, uh, being sexual predators and she's harder on the blacks that are accused of the same thing. Um, let me know what's good and how you feel. Um, so you guys also follow me on all social media. There's a list of where you can find me at the end of this video on other social sites, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, and here, of course, please do subscribe if you haven't already. Come back more for more videos, celebrity gossip talk, uh, celebrity news flash, reality show reviews, and current news right here on this channel, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a wonderful, beautiful day and enjoy. It's all love. God bless.
later on. Don't forget to add the underscore when adding me on Instagram.